Hello, this is Skylar Workman with SportRivalry.com. Today we're going to talk about the rivalry between the Baylor Bears and the TCU Horned Frogs, known as the Revivalry. Let's join Sport Rivalry Man on a brief history of the Baylor TCU rivalry. The first game between the Bears and the Horned Frogs was October 27, 1899, and ended in a 0 0 tie. The two teams have played 112 times since their first meeting. As of the 2016 season, TCU leads the series 53-52-7. and seven. The schools were once both located in Waco, Texas. A fire destroyed TCU's administration building and the campus was relocated to Fort Worth in 1910. Now the schools are separated by less than 90 miles. Both schools were members of the Southwest Conference until it disbanded in 1995. Baylor and TCU did not play for 10 years, but renewed their rivalry in a non-conference series in 2006-2007 and 2010-2011. In 2012, TCU joined Baylor in the Big 12 Conference, and the rivalry is now played again annually. This rivalry is unusual because both TCU and Baylor are private Christian schools, and they have had both historic and recent parity. 42 games have been decided by seven points or less, including seven ties. The 2014 matchup was the first time during the rivalry that both teams were ranked. Number five Baylor beat number nine TCU 61 to 58 after overcoming a 21 point deficit in the last quarter. This outcome resulted in TCU getting knocked out of the inaugural college football playoff. TCU and Baylor were both ranked again in the 2015 game. At the end of regulation, the game was tied at 14. TCU finally claimed victory 28-21 in the second overtime. The recent su success of both teams has drawn more national attention to the rivalry. Today's lesson is about basking in reflected glory or burging. Burging is defined as following a team after they experience success. Thank you for your time. This has been Skylar Workman with SportRivalry.com, signing off.